What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody failing in today my people? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I got a special player build for you all today. I'm gonna be showing you how to make the one and only Lin San Sanity Jeremy Lin. So first things first when we look at this Jeremy Lin builder as you can see man this is from the the 2011 through the 2012 New York Knicks Jeremy Lin we all know who Jeremy Lin was he literally cooked he was cooking up when he was on his team and he was undrafted too this man was cooking up on the Knicks he had everybody having a good time listen they was turned up this this Knicks team was turned up with Lin man all right so first things first right 75 on a driving layup 45 on a driving dunk and close shot is 85 so so jeremy lynn was a great um you know he was good in the paint nothing too crazy but he could finish most players in the nba can finish layups or dunks that's just how it is you know and their close shot is usually high because if you're in the nba you should be able to hit you know close shots like i don't know how you got into the nba if you don't know how to hit close shots and you can see he was a very educated man. This man went to Harvard. Come on, Harvard University? Chill, smart man, right? So the mid-range shot, 92 mid-range is gonna be absolutely crazy, okay? If you know how to hit them, them leaners, them pull-ups, if you know how to create in the mid-range, you're gonna go crazy with this build. Three-point shot is at a 75. This is literally all you need to hit consistently, all right? I promise you, all you need is a 75. And you'll be perfectly fine then we're looking at the free throw the free throw is 79 most likely i'll go 80 because just seeing the attributes that's like 79 it don't really make sense to me you know unless it's like you know the max if i'm trying to max out something and 79 is the max cool no problem but if i could just go 80 and get a badge i'll do that all right now we're looking at the post control we ain't worried about that so we're not going to put no post control on this build at 38 nothing happens for you no badges or nothing so it doesn't make sense the pass accuracy uh is at a 78 all you need is a 77 the reason i say that is because you get the needle thread on bronze by going 77 so it makes sense just having a 77 on the pass accuracy the ball handling is a 90 so that's going to be solid to have a 90 ball handle you get a lot of great dribble animations you get a lot of great badges by going 90 that's going to be incredible and then his speed with the ball is at 82 and that's also good as well right now for the defense right he wasn't the best defender okay he wasn't the best defender but what you're gonna see is that the defense right that having a 79 is solid but like i said it may just go 80 and to be honest i take that back his still is actually pretty high he has a high still so this is going to be a great this is going to be a sleeper build people are not going to know what you have i mean of course if you go to the rec or even in the park they'll be able to see your highest attributes but this is going to be an incredible build all right so this is all i care about i don't care about the blocks i don't care about the rebound and this is this right here is going to be nice my people all right so now as you see right now the uh physicals 83 speed 83 acceleration that is solid he wasn't the fastest player but having an 80 plus on the speed and acceleration is going to be solid uh the strength is simple strength low strength and then he had an 80 vert and then we cap it off with the 95 stamina and i believe you do get the workhorse at gold depending on how your attributes is in other areas but without further ado let's make the one and only lin sanity jeremy lin all right my people we are in the my play but as you can see first and last name jeremy lin right hand jersey number is 17. now right we are making a point guard so we we, we want to go uh stay at six three you want to go 200 pounds and you want to drop that wingspan to six five all right and this is the template right here now the close shot was high so i decided you know what let's go 81 on the close shot you know a lot of people don't really care for close shot but i do I, I really think having a close shot is really important for a lot of situations where let's say if you get lucky and, and get a rebound you want to go up with that close shot after you get the rebound 
or if you're in situations where you know you pump fake the uh defender and then you go up imagine pump faking a defender and then you have a wide open close shot and you got like a, a 40 or something or 60 it's trust me you want to get some close shots it's, it's important all right now for the driving layup uh 75 okay 75 is what we're rocking with we do get some good uh um, badges and we get some good animations by going 75 and then just 45 on the driving dunk all right so that's it this is what we're gonna do now for the shooting yes we are going up to a 92 on the mid-range shot by going 92 you get midi magician boost effectiveness of pull-ups and spin jump shots in the mid-range area you're gonna be going crazy my people look at all the hall of fame and gold badges that you get on the right hand side you know what i mean the only thing that you don't got gold or hall of fame is the um whistle but everything else is incredible right and of course we're gonna have a three-point shot because he could hit threes we're going with a 76 just so we could get that agent threes improves ability to make pull-up shots from the three-point range all right now we're going 80 for all my rec players i don't see anybody using this on the program but listen i'm a rec player i like rec i play rec more than park so this is why i always gotta have at least a decent free throw all right now 77 pass accuracy like i was saying we need that 77 we don't need to go 88 because 88 doesn't do anything so we might as well just stay at 77 so we can get that needle thread at least on bronze we're going 90 ball handle so you're going to be able to dribble really well with this build we have a 90 ball handle that's solid then we're going 77 on the speed with ball that's going to give us the hyper drive triple strike right so this is solid right here this is solid all right now for the interior defense zero we're not worrying about that but we will go 80 on the perimeter so you're going to play a little bit of good defense here by going 80 you get that off ball pass on goal so that's going to be helpful for stopping a lot of back doors you're going to be able to bump and harass the offensive um ball as well so that's going to be nice all right now he had an 89 still so by going 89 we get that interceptor we could have gone 90 to get right stick ripper but i'm gonna be honest i have not used right stick ripper ever i'd be forgetting that you can even get steals with this i don't even be using this thing man it's to me right stick ripper is just like you know glove you just press square and get a steal like i don't see how right stick ripper even does anything i'm gonna be honest all right so 89 so we're staying with 89 we get that gold interceptor that's gonna be insane my people this is a solid point guard build is different it's different the defense is dead that gold interceptor is going to be really amazing to have then for the um the block and the offensive rebound and defense i had to put attributes just to get 90 so i i just went 44 nothing too crazy went 44 i went 43 on the offensive rebound and then i went 60 on the defensive and guess what you will get that rebound chaser so that's going to be nice 83 on the speed 83 on the acceleration and then for the strength i went 55 yeah 40 something but i went 55 because i wanted to at least get fearless on bronze okay that's gonna be a great badge to have the vertical i went 8 80 because that's what he had as well you'll get area wizard by going past the threshold you only would need uh let me see you only would need a 67 but i just went 80 because that's what two gates that he had and then the rest i put towards the stamina and by going 95 you don't need 95 but you could have just stayed at 93 but i said you know let's just keep it at 95 so you see this is a playable build man this build is great man all them silver badges and gold badges like look at this this is solid silver glove you get right stick rip on silver you get intercept on gold come on my people this is sick this build is looking nice this is looking like a nice build right here right so now we continue right here and you're gonna see we get shades of jeremy lynn number one my people this is a unique build man and not only is this a unique build but look at the name mid-range specialist as a point guard you're not gonna see too many um you know point guards with this name i'm telling you now but yeah so y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build and until next time much 
love.